Hello, young spiriters. Hi, Rachel and Francesca. Francesca, and we're looking at Nahum today. Now, Nahum, they're all stressed out. Israel's all stressed out because Nineveh, about sixty to hundred years later, has forgotten what Jonah sort of taught them, I suppose, through warning them after the big fish bit um, about their behaviour and about what God really wanted for them in terms of their behaviour and they've decided to turn on Israel. So they're threatening to attack and Nahum is talking about how God is going to protect Israel and there's a particular verse that describes God in a really special way and it uses a special word, refuge. I'm just a bit tired. A bit sleepy. Um, I'm going to read this verse and have a think about what refuge might mean, okay? Mm -hmm. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble, says Nahum. He cares for those who trust in him. But with an overwhelming flood, he will make an end of Nineveh. So that's the key threat at the minute is Nineveh. And that's from chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. What's a refuge? You didn't read the last one. No, I didn't. What's a refuge? Something that keeps you safe. Yeah, it's sometimes translated, actually, as a strong tower. The Lord is a strong tower. When, when do we need a refuge? Do we need a refuge when we're at a birthday party? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Is it a scary birthday party? Yes. <laughs> Okay, do we need a refuge at home with our family? Mm. No. A refuge is a safe place that we can go to when we feel overwhelmed and under attack. And it's a picture that Nahum is using. Oh dear me, we are sleepy. It's a picture that Nahum is using to describe one of the qualities of God. We go to a refuge. If you think about those strong towers in castles. We run to that tower when we're being attacked and we need safety around us. When we're not strong enough, we run to the tower. What do we find in a refuge? If you were under attack and you ran to a strong tower, what would you hope was in the tower? Money. Money. <laughs> because you'd like or to blank. throw it at your enemies. Say I'm rich. <laughs> Blankets? Um, um, yes, cushions, beds. Cushions, beds, comfort. Yeah. Warm. Soft toys. Food. Soft toys. Drink. Soft, soft toys. toys. Soft toys. What about Family. weapons? Family. Family. People. What about defence we weapons? Bows. Okay. Arrows of harming. Arrows of harming. Because <laughs> like that's the Minecraft. Thing. Okay. <laughs> Can we think about how God can be our refuge? Do you have a refuge? Do you have a place that you go to if you don't feel safe? Your room. My room. So there's one room in the house that Francesca can always be found in if she's feeling a little bit little, and it is my room. Yeah? And my room. Yeah. Because it feels like... Oh, sorry. It feels like a safe place. I've got a particular place in my room. I do too. And you do too, which is where we go to when we want to really sort of land in Jesus's lap is the feeling it is for me. When I want to just really sit and be held and close and, and feel safe with God. And I put candles in it, and I put little pictures in it. I've got chakras in mine. Yeah, and I've got incense that I burn in mine. Yeah. And Bible verses that I have up as well. But I thought it might be fun today to make a strong tower. Ooh, I found toilet tube. You found some. Yeah, should, do you want to just jump down and get your oh. scissors? Yeah. Okay. Where are my scissors? Uh, I think they are in your pencil thing there. Can right. I them? Keep looking, you'll find them. I can see them. Oh, I'm so glad. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut those little, little 
what are they called? Statues. Crenellations. 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 The up and downy bits of a castle tower, just to make my toilet tube look a bit less like a toilet tube and look a bit more like a Ooh. tower. Whoop, that one pinged. Now, if I you're watching, you might just want to watch Wait, us do this at this point. Or we could pause it and. Or you could pause back. the video and go and find a toilet tube. Or, or we could pause this while we're doing it if they don't want to see us do this. They could just fast forward us, couldn't they? Yeah, they could. Right, so I have a strong tower. I'm tempted to put a little door in my strong tower. <laughs> Crazy so just be careful with the scissors. You might want a grown up to do yes. this bit because <laughs> I'm on my own. Do you want me to just put some starting ones yes, in here? Yes. Can you cut the bottom of it if you spread it out? Yeah. So we're going to put some things in our strong tower. But what first, put in? I'm going to take a little bit of cardboard and I'm going to glue it so that whatever we put, whoop, there it goes. So whatever we put what? in it doesn't fall out the bottom. Ah! See what I'm saying? So I'm going to just grab ah! some stick. Okay, loads of the... Okay, this is mine. That's I'm going to put a door in mine. Okay, go ahead and put a door in your... And I'm going to just whack some Pritt stick on here. What's going to be cool about this, um, the door that I'm making, is that um, if, you, uh, if you ask God for a safe place, he gives you a key. Oh, that's nice. This is the thing with symbolism, is you can have a lot of fun with it. I still don't feel... Um, like I like God, but... You have issues with God sometimes, don't you? Yes, I do. But we all do. Like any relationship, there's a lot of getting to know each other. How, how, what, what, how, how, what, what? We have. What did you, oh, did you so do things, it? Yeah. So oh, I was Go confused. ahead and put the scissors down for a minute. Because I thought you were just like pressing it in and it was like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. So, the first thing that I'm going to suggest is the weapons defence one. Oh, I should have made an open... I should have Except made open instead of real weapons, I'm going to use a little bit more symbolism. I want to make weapons. Can you listen to this Sorry. part? So, one of the weapons that people talk about having when you, when you believe in God is remembering verses in the Bible that help argue with the thoughts in our heads sometimes mm -hmm. or argue with maybe lies other people are saying mm. so if somebody says ah nobody cares about you mm. you're not special mm. we can need to remember truth that tells us that we are yeah, that we god are. made us yeah, that god loves are. us yeah and so what i'm going to suggest is there's going to be a little picture that I've created that goes with this. I'm going to put my, I'm going to put a chick. And it's actually got the verse that I read out at the beginning. Just leave those for a minute. Sorry. This is, this is the little picture mm -hmm. that you should be able to download as well. And it actually just reads, The, the Lord, Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Nahum 1 to 7. Now you can colour that in, make it beautiful. I can colour it in. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and colour that in while, while we're sort of talking through the rest of it. Wait, I haven't even got a chair. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can stand up, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I can just stand. It doesn't matter. Ah! There's all sorts of verses that I think are really, really good defence weapons to keep in mind. Okay. One of my favourites is, I know the plans that I have for you. I need a red and gray. they are plans to help you and not to harm you. That's a wonderful one. Oh, it could so be a pen I've cut one out too. It could be a yeah, you can turn it into a pen holder. But we're going to make it a tower of refuge okay. at a minute. I'm just going to put that in there so I can have space. Just for a minute, okay. So I'm not going to colour mine in right now because I'm going to keep talking through what we're doing. So I'm, I'm just going to mine. fold mine up in half and then I'm just going to roll it what? and just pop it in my tower. So it's there Cute. for me to find when I feel overwhelmed, when I feel under attack. Another thing that we talked about hoping to find in our tower and that was food and drink. So I'm actually... And put blankets. In. I'm really bad yeah. at colouring. I'm actually going to put it in a tea bag because a tea bag. A warm cup of tea is often something that I take with me to my safe place so that I can think and pray. Do we... you take me to your safe place <laughs> <laughs> sometimes? So when we um, when we think about connecting with God, when we think about talking to God, sometimes we need to move beyond just our words and we can think about our whole bodies. 
Um, sometimes we can take some food. Yeah. We can thank God while we're eating, while we're drinking. But we can also <laughs> just pick that up. No. We can think about <laughs> how God provides for us in our strong towers. He doesn't just sit there and go, oh, yeah, it's tough out there, isn't it? He provides for us. I've actually brought you a little something to put in your tower. Some popping <gasps> candy. Yay! I love popping candy. I've also got these. Candles. What? Little LED candles. And that for me is Light. A, it's just something lovely to kind of focus my attention as I pray or even remind me that there is light no matter how dark it feels. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in yours Thank as well. You. And then you mentioned family, didn't you, as well? Yeah, put, put people. So what we're going to... Maybe that needs to move somewhere a bit safer because yeah. that keeps getting knocked over. We're going to take a strip of paper Where's and we're going, to, we're going to make some people to put into our strong tower. So what you want to do is, if you've ever made paper dolls, you'll have a heads up. You're going to oh, fold oh. it. You're going to fold it this back and doesn't. forth like, like when you do those paper fans. So it goes a bit like this. Oh. So that's folded over, so that one will be under. I've just taken a piece of A4 paper and split it down the middle lengthways because you want it a bit narrow. Here's my castle. That's beautiful. Now for my paper yeah. doll, I'm only going to need to draw the top paper yeah. doll. I'm going to do it in bright colours, the words. And I'm going to do yeah. it really simply because I mean, drawing is not my words. gift. Yes, it is. But the important thing with a paper doll is that you let the arms go off the paper. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Where's blue? Oh, I don't have a blue. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So I've done it like this. Can you see? So the arms actually run off the edge because what we don't want is to cut in here. Okay, so I'm going to cut along the black lines and then you'll see what happens when I open it up. And on these paper dolls, depending on how many you've got, you could make as many as you like. But I think I might think about writing some names or you could decorate them to look like the people that help you feel safe. Or what you could also do is you could write on them some of the things about God that makes him feel safe. So you could write... For me, it would be things like, I am loved. No matter what I've done, or who I've upset, or how clumsy I've been with my words, I'm loved. So here we go. So it's all cut out now. And now we have people. Can you see? That is so cute. And it's really important to remember we're not alone. Yeah. We're not alone. When we go to a refuge, when we go to God as a safe place, we're not alone because we've got God. We've often got other people as well. So I'm going to put loved on one of mine. I'm going to put um, protected. Now that's a tricky one sometimes because sometimes bad things do happen to us. And does that mean God doesn't protect us? Or does that mean that he's still caring for us while he's we're still in scary for us. places? Still so it's a tricky one. It doesn't mean that you become a Christian and nothing bad ever happens. Okay, that's not true. It isn't, is it? What else makes become you Become a feel? Christian and everything works out. Yeah. I'm also going to put listened to. I think it's one of the amazing things is that when I go to my safe place, when I go to my, my tower here at home, it's a place that makes me feel cared about um, and looked after. But I also do an awful lot of the talking. I do an awful lot of the chatting. Um... I'm also going to put, what else could I put? Mm, light, I think. Remembering that in that tower, while we're hiding, There's God is our light. light. Yeah. 
comfort. Even if I've done something really silly, God doesn't tend to rub it in my face. He offers me comfort yes, instead. So I don't know if this will come around the right way, but it might come up all backwards. But those are what I've written. Can I see? Come, wait, love, protect, and listen to light, comfort. Oh, mm -hmm. cute. So I'm going to just fold these up. Just on the and I'm going to just tuck them. Pink now. I might have to fold them over to tuck them in. We've gotten a bit big. And now I've got all of these. And the last thing, because Francesca's got a pile of these right next to us, I'm going to take a little chick. And this little chick is going to be me. There's a part in the New Testament, so not in the book of Nahum, but where Jesus describes himself as a mother hen. And it's gathering, wanting to gather all of us chicks under his wings for safety. And I think that picture works really well with this God is good, a refuge in times of trouble. So I'm going to take me little chick and I'm going to tuck my little chick in the top of my tower. And that's it for today. And so I hope that that verse really resonates. I hope it offers some comfort. And maybe you'd like to have a go at making this your own strong tower. Is what I did so and far. that's what she's done so far. I'm probably I'm not gonna finish any of it. <laughs> Shall we wave goodbye and say happy Sunday? Hope you enjoy Nahum and we'll see you next week. Are you gonna maybe. come and wave? Maybe. Are you gonna come and wave? Yes, and maybe for next week. Go on then. Bye! Bye.